Breaking news! It turns out that actor Mark Ruffalo, who plays the Incredible Hulk in the Avengers movies, is not acting. In a recent altercation in which he was being trolled by a well-known internet personality, Ruffalo lost his temper and actually turned into the Hulk. I know it's hard to believe, but I have the evidence to prove it right here. Let me just check it out before I display it. Oh, hang on. I... I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I made a mistake. I thought they said Ruffalo, but I heard it wrong. Yeah, you're actually really upset. I, I think you should have come to bed. That's true. All right, all right, all right, all right. Why don't you get out of here, Alex? All right. We got to continue the show. Hey, man, nobody we watches you. We know nobody guys. watches you. You need the radio. Saudi Arabians aren't funny enough, you little jihad. Hey, first of all, let me explain something, all right? Okay. What's the matter, Jenk? Are we getting to you? Jenk likes to pretend that he doesn't mind that suddenly many people are calling him a regressive and a Muslim apologist, but this explosion suggests otherwise. Turns out it really stings him when you suggest that he's defending Saudi Arabia. I believe he honestly doesn't understand why he's being accused of that, when he is constantly making videos criticizing Islam and the actions of Muslims. Many of what remains of the TYT fanbase don't get it either. So, for their sake, I will try to explain. It is true that Jenk does criticize Islam and the actions of Muslims, but he always hastens to add that other religions are guilty of the same things, providing examples from history. He thinks he is obeying an important humanist principle, the idea that we are all humans, and if you compare two large groups of people, they will be basically the same in terms of human character. So Jenk probably believes that it is important to remind ourselves that Muslims, as people, are no worse than us. But Jenk is forgetting one thing. Humans have cultures, and cultures, at times, take a turn for the worse and become immoral. In the first half of the 20th century, it was European culture that went bad, becoming a motherload of bad ideas and bringing us two world wars, totalitarianism, the Holocaust, weapons of mass destruction, the gulags, the Cold War and other atrocities. In the second half of the century, European thinkers started a process of self-reflection to understand what went wrong. Fortunately, many of them were honest enough to not just blame it all on extreme groups like the Nazis and the Bolsheviks, but realized that all European culture was to blame, and that all of its ideas need to be scrutinized in order to develop better ideas that will ensure that such groups can never take over again. Today, it is Islam that is responsible for most of the atrocities committed around the world, and it is Muslims who are called upon to go through this process of self-reflection. If you are a Muslim, it is not enough that you condemn and oppose the jihadist groups. You need to criticize all the ideas of Islam, and fix what needs to be fixed in order to ensure that terrorist groups cannot draw legitimacy from your religion. And the rest of us have the right to criticize your culture as well, and demand of you to undergo this reform process. And this is where Jenk fails. He is acting like a true liberal when he stands up to bigots, those who claim that Islam is a transcendent evil that always has been and always will be worse than other cultures. But he is incapable of making the distinction between them and between those who claim that Islam is at this moment the most immoral culture, the current mother load of bad ideas. He does not acknowledge the possibility that one group of people can be more immoral than another group at a certain point in time. And so, when he hears people making that argument, he accuses them of bigotry. Worse, he then proceeds to strawman them and ascribes to them the positions of actual bigots. In that, Jenk is an anti-liberal obscurantist who stands in the way of a crucial debate that needs to take place, as well as an Islam apologist. He deserves every bit of scorn he is getting on this issue. You have to 